Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 16. Um, I think we're gonna do a shitload of side quests. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? That way, I can get super leveled up. So we have, including this one, one, two, three, four. Was there not more? Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Lots of side quests. Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Karava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity, but those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though, I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right, I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the East Gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Karava. I eagerly await your safe and above all triumphant return. Careful how you pack that leather. Any crystals cracked. Are you there? Finally. And no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise, one each to the north, south, and east. 
I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. Bandits, maybe not. But look what they've left us. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentlemen of the town guard. Could be I know something more. Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. Gentlemen of the town guard. Mummy. What a mess. Where do we You fought very bravely. The safety of the town is in our hands. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? <sighs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. 
Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. <clears throat> okay, bring it on, bitch. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goose, are you all right? He... He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. 
You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goose, no. Enough, all of you! Karen. But how did you... You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you the same pants pissing craving you've always been what was it we called you wet legs you you bitch everything that happened it was all your fault and now you'll finally pay for what you did to me Yep. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, sir. Uh, Wise words. And now is time to collect. No, I can't. No! Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. ta -ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen.
Good girl. Yeah. Surrounded. Thanks, girl. Company. Old he may be, but it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. off my hands the better. Nothing like a little unrest. But there were ghosts at the gates, not they. You needn't fret. Then. Good girl. Yeah. Apocrity said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Yeah.
the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. Better head back. <laughs> 